So like I said, this strapping was too wide. The This pocket inside here is 10 millimeters deep. The sensor is right at the middle of that. So I need, you know, in an ideal world, a four and a half or a five millimeter flag should be exactly purpose or perfect. But none of this is ideal, so I want to make that flag only 4.5 millimeters tall. So there's a little bit of slot, which means when the when the tip touches, it's going to have to compress at least half a millimeter before it trips the sensor. Um, these are sort of my starting points. I'm making this come apart easy enough so once I get this thing running if I'm like oh I'm getting false positives I can go in there and and cut this notch a little deeper to have it require more travel before it trips the sensor. So Calipers are set to 4.5 and I'm going to do my best to try and draw a line with them. There it went. Okay. Of all those lines, the middle one's the one I want. So now in theory, I just go like this. Squeeze really hard. Give it a wiggle. And then go like this. In theory, I should be able to break this corner right off. Yep, there it goes. So there you see it starting to split off. Nip the corner. There. And before I do anything else, I'm going to take this corner and just roll it back into that tube. And now I'm a little oversized. I'll take it off and just every, give everything a gentle squeeze. Oop, upside down. So there it is. There's my new file. Again, just cleaning up this top edge to get rid of that sharp surface and try the only important dimension on here really is this surface is square to this surface and it doesn't even have to be exact but the better it is or the more square it is the more repeatable your sensor trips will be I'm just using a file taking off any burrs everything's nice and smooth uh, next step I want to clean the brass to get it ready for soldering. So just take some, slide it significantly out of the way and just take some emery cloth here and squeeze and spin just to clean off any oxides on the outside of the tubing there. Ideally you'd clean the inside of the flag as well. Uh, I should have done that before I bent it into a U shape but this should be fine as is. Make sure this is this is a tight fit still. So that'll be important in a second. This is just some paste flux for soldering. So I'm gonna smear that all over everything. Run that up in there to get some inside. Run it back down. Smear it all over again. I'm gonna take the whole assembly slide it into place make sure everything still works and doesn't catch on anything and now I'm just going to push the tubing down so the body of the sensor will hold that flag in place and then as I push the tubing down into the sensor when the tube bottoms out on this that flag will be bottom out in this part and we have the distance perfectly set here again, you can see it's touching and doing its thing. So, right now that flag is right where I want it. Now, to permanently attach them, I'm just going to solder them. Get my soldering iron heat up here. Make an impromptu heat pad. And some solder. So, 
So the key thing on soldering this is making sure this stuff is hot enough before you go crazy with the solder. So if this is nice and hot where solder will flow all the way through the joint, you just put it on one side and it will just suck it right through the joint. Through uh, capability... Eh, I can't speak. Capillary action. So there it's burning off the flux. And if I put it on there, it just sort of flows right into the joint. So I'm just adding some until I see it come out this other end. There, you can see it right along the flag here as it gets sucked into the joint. So I'm fairly confident this is a good joint with solder throughout now. So I'm done with that.